All right, well, he's back on the ranch, and it looks like he's bought some more land. What's this? Oh, oh no, he's, there's a rather phallic-shaped-looking piece of land. He's got to, I guess he's got to whip out the plow and deal with that. So, I mean, uh, I guess that's what we're doing in episode 140 of El Mountain. What's going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here. And, well, we're in November. We're looking good, and uh, the seasons are ticking on by. And, uh, you know, we're feeling good. We got pretty much all of our field work done that we need to for the current fields that we have. And I was kind of looking around at some stuff, talking to some neighbors, you know. And if we are going to get another field, there is a pretty obvious choice in uh, the one just above our round field, just across the river here. And uh, there is some stuff that we could do with that, I think. Um, it is an annoying kind of shape. But I think we might be able to do something about that. So let's go see about purchasing it. All right, number nine here is the field in question. It's only 55,000, but there is this little peninsula-looking shape sticking out there and a little island on it. But I think we can maybe get rid of the trees along here. This island has rocks on it, so I don't think we'll be able to get rid of those very easily. Um, and I'm not sure about this area here in the corner. But we'll see what we can do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just scoop it up. Pick it up. Why not? There we go. We got another field just like that. Um, I know there are some rocks and such on it. So we'll probably have to deal with that. But thankfully, we're no stranger to doing that kind of stuff. I guess we could turn off our lights there. Oh, such a lovely morning with the sun coming up. Um, it looks good. You know what? Before we get too far away from the truck over here I think we might grab our other one uh, and just see about moving over a little bit more silage and possibly some more hay into our mixing station all right we're rolling and it's wild to see the lights still being on uh, past eight o'clock but that just goes to show you what the uh, change of seasons is like you know uh, so we're gonna whip around our silo right here and this will probably take a minute to fill uh, I don't even know if we'll have enough to actually completely fill it up but while it's going that's an opportunity for us to just deal with our animals Right, I think that's pretty much everything I can think of except for mineral feed and those silos are empty because we just moved them over here so that means we need to go pick some up and I'm tired of looking at this dirty truck I don't mind that it's dirty it's just it's just way too dirty you know what I mean so it'll get dirty again but we're gonna clean it up 
real quick, and I think we're just going to bust over to the feed store and fill this guy up with mineral feed. It's going to be a hefty, hefty bill, but uh, you know what? We can afford it, so why not? And uh, then we really shouldn't need mineral feed for some time. If all of it doesn't fit in there, we can fill up our silos, and we should be good. Um, and you know what? Maybe we don't even need a full trailer. We can just get... Uh, I don't know. Let's see how much we can fit. Hopefully this trailer works for it. I don't see why she wouldn't. It's looking good. All right, there she goes. They got a, a couple of the same silos that we have actually that are full, and I think we're probably gonna drain these bad boys. Um, yeah, is that all of it? That that's all of it. All right. Well, what do you got in this one? Keep her going. Yeah, that looks better. So, we won't fill up the trailer, just whatever they have in here, I guess, but that should be more than enough um, to keep her going. We still have some in there, so all of this will just be extra, and I think we're good to just have a little loop ski right there and head on back, rolling past our uh, new property that we just bought as well. Right here, this is the field in question. And yeah, so we're going to try and clear out a lot of those trees, see what we can do about that, and just making the ground a little bit easier to uh, easier to deal with, you know what I mean? And then, of course, there's all the stones on there that'll have to get picked as well, but we have the winner to do so. But you know what? We might get that started today as well. We will see. I feel like if it's slow, oh my gosh. That's why we got the railing, folks. That saved our lives there. We had a little hop skippity bounce, and uh, we almost went off the edge with a, well, half a trailer full of product. An expensive load, still, like $55,000 worth of mineral feed in here. That's uh, not cheap. I would not like to lose that. And the truck would obviously be flooded out. The trailer might be salvageable, but, like, not fun either way. So let's see what we can do here. The gator might be in the way, but we might be able to just be close enough. Let's see. There we go. Well, looking good. Looking good. We did move over some hay because we have way more hay than silage. Uh, so we moved a little bit over there into the other silo so that that can actually get processed into silage. Because as you can see, a little bit of a discrepancy there. But hey, we got piles showing that is what you want I will take it that uh, that makes me happy so that is it's not running right now but whenever we do need more mix it is pretty well ready to just get going because it makes it pretty fast which is uh, very nice we should have enough room there to pull on through with something else unhook that and I'm loving the wash truck she's looking mighty fine Big black beast up in here. We're gonna go hook up to our uh, cattle trailer, I do think. And just just as a reminder, that way we don't forget, because I think that is some stuff I would like to get to at some point today. That would be awesome. So we're gonna just hook that guy up and it'll be ready to roll. Alright, well, this guy's already out, so we may as well. Um, I feel like I want to grab the weight for this job because that tree mulcher is pretty heavy. And, uh, you know, this weight isn't massive, but it's something. Oh, we can get that. Ah, yeah. All right. So that's, uh, that's on there. We got wheel weights and a small weight on the back. We'll grab this tree mulcher and uh, we're gonna go tear up some land. Uh huh. Like that. Even that still dips us down a little bit. And. Jeez. Gosh, Mickey! You know, having the weight on there, I almost wanna just not. I know I was gonna, but we can't get away without it. So, I think, as much as I was just going to do that, I will actually just bring the stone picker right on over, because we know that has to get done as well. Uh, 
Mm, well, you know, actually, I'm changing my mind once again. It does have to get done, but it's not essential to get started just yet. However, if we bring our plow over, then we can mulch the trees and hopefully plow the land as well. And then we are good to just stone pick and uh, see what we can do with that. So, just keeping that on there should kind of act as a bit of a counterweight for us as well. So that's helpful. But uh, we got a lot of blades up in here. This is a dangerous setup. But uh, the path has widened just a little bit over here. Bush was bugging me and I just never got around to it until recently. But uh, all of these new paths are just fantastic. All right, well, first time kind of dipping into this field this direction. We might need to make a little pathway there, but I think it's not too bad. And so for this job, I don't know, we might want to assess what it's looking like down here. Doesn't look like there's anything that we can't get rid of uh, in that little ravine there. All the trees can go and bushes. Uh, no really big major rocks or anything of that nature. And then here is kind of back to separating the fields for the most part. And then, yeah, this area here, really big rocks. So we, I think that little island has to stay. However, this corner looks like most of it will be able to get munched up and uh, put away. Hey, is there an entrance right there? It better not be. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my god, is there? What? No. No way. What? Whoa. How did I just figure that out? We, I guess because it doesn't really look like one. It just looks like the same distance for the, uh, the fence. But good to know. Good to know. Okay. 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 Alright, well, you know, let's, uh, let's get to it. Well, that, that worked. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but I think it was worth it. Um, you know, that field, or that corner of the field is looking much better. And we got pretty much everything out of there. There might be a couple of those little shrubs or something that are super stubborn with real deep roots that just don't want to leave. But otherwise, it's looking pretty good all around over there. And, um, yeah, we know we got a nice little road that pops out on the other side of that. So that's, I mean... Nice, it's not super convenient really because if there's stuff planted, it's right there. But when we do need to go to the store and just go drop some stuff off and whatever happens, then it is right there for us. So that is awesome. Hopefully we can get uh, that stuff smoothed out. Maybe we can get the farmhand to hop in that little John Deere excavator and, uh, you know, just level out that area for us. That would be real nice. All right, let's get this dropped off right there that's wonderful and 
we can go drop off our plow once again. That has done a fantastic job. And we can probably get to stone picking in that field as well. Just at least start with it. That yeah, couldn't hurt, right? And I know they won't probably be able to do that little ravine until it's, uh, you know, been dealt with. But that's okay. At least it'll be something. It's a start. And then we can probably think about heading over to uh, maybe make some animal purchases. See how that goes. All right, well, you know what? We're here and uh, we got the machine. We may as well lower her down. Hey, do you, why you not pick up this rock? Oh, maybe because I was lowering the front way. <laughs> Yes. All right, there we go. Couldn't see it from the other angle there. Um, yeah, we don't really need to do... I mean, I guess we kind of do need to do the whole field. Like, it's not like, let's just pick up the rocks. It's like, no, they're literally everywhere across the whole field. So, that's unfortunate. Uh, nobody seems to really care about picking up the rocks on their fields, and I don't get it, because... It just eats into your implements if you're not careful and keeping your headers lowered and not lower, like picking them up when you're done your rows and stuff. When you got big stones on there, they'll just eat into your machinery and just you'll end up like having a big bill. You might even have to stop um, midway through your harvest if something gets really damaged, and that's not what you want. So it's like get get those rocks out of there. Like the fields look so much better when you do. Uh, so I don't know. That is what it is. I guess this area will need some lime as well. That way it's just kind of caught up with the rest of the soil and all good there. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, time to plant some oilseed radish uh, as we did on our other fields just to kind of fertilize this one if we did want to. Uh, we are out of our planting window for that. I guess if we really wanted to, we could... Uh, throw down some grass but I don't think we're gonna have time to because like I said I want to get all these rocks dealt with and uh, you know if we just put grass down then all the rocks will stay and we'll forget about it and then we'll have to deal with getting rid of the grass before we uh, plant anything else on here so I, I guess I could have made this angle a little bit better while I was here with the plow I wasn't really thinking about it too much. I'm, I'm really not too worried about it. It's, you know, I want to keep it a, still somewhat to its organic shape. I just wanted to make it uh, not omega annoying and uh, a little bit bigger at that. So, oh, uh, we already did this part, so I guess if uh, we're doing the whole field, we maybe should pay attention to where we're going after we finish one lap there. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt to just get some stuff done you know uh, it's a little past noon here so we've gotten a fair bit done today we were up nice and early thankfully but uh, yeah we're, we're rolling through it's yeah it's probably closer to two o'clock than it is a little afternoon it's it's you know time some time has passed since I last checked the clock there um, and uh, we're actually making some pretty good time on this field I feel kind of silly paying somebody to do this work and there's really not a whole lot else for us to get done. We do have something I want to get done today, but we'll have time to do that, no problem. Um, as long as we keep our eye on the time, you know, once uh, it gets later into uh, the evening, we might dip off of uh, this job if we're not quite finished and then maybe get some help. But I think for now, I don't mind just rolling through and getting it done. And this ravine doesn't seem too bad now that it's been plowed out. It's just, it's it's not as bad. It seems like we're able to go through there with our equipment pretty well. Plowing it was the worst of it, it seems.
All right, well, I had a thought. We're not going to be cutting any more grass this season, so we may as well roll it, even if it's already started to grow back a little bit. It's not going to matter because it's going to go away during the winter time. so if we can roll it out, then it should be a pretty good yield when it does actually eventually grow back into springtime. Um, okay. I always cut, this is why, this road, that's why I always forget about the sheep. Whenever we come over here, it's because I always take that road or one of the other ones, and I just straight up forget to exist. Alright, those guys are nice and easy to deal with. Not a problem. So, you might have noticed we didn't load up any animals into here. We're rolling empty-handed at the moment, but that's okay. We are going to be actually going to the animal auction. And I think we're just going to be straight up buying some animals for slaughter. Um, you know, we're going to tell them they're going home, and that, but that's, that's where they're actually going to be going. So... We're going to pull into uh, the animal auction. I don't think we've used it yet. We've, we've been by. We've, uh, you know, helped create it and fund it. But we haven't actually used it just yet. You can see that big building just looming large in the background over the rest of the uh, livestock supply here. So, hopefully, we can squeeze in there. Looks pretty busy here, as, uh, as I've been told it is. So... There we go. All right. So, pigs. We can take 50, and they're 10. It's going to be 10 grand for 50. That seems fair. Let's try it out. Boom. We bought them. We're, we're full. We got 50. Let's, uh, let's go take them somewhere special, shall we? We got, uh, a couple holding pens, if you will, uh, put in near the slaughterhouse there. Pretty much no different than uh, the grass meadow that was there before. It's just more of a uh, formality than anything. It's, it's there in case we have overflow or we need it or we want to move some animals over to... Uh, you know, just be a little bit closer. Maybe we're not quite ready to uh, deal with them just yet, but we're uh, taking the long ways. I kind of forgot how long this way actually was. Yeah, you know what? It's a nice trip, though. It is. It's a nice road. It's not uh, not busy, so we don't really have to worry about traffic that much. I mean, we have live animals. But still, we're looking pretty good. All right, this one is the tricky one. It's just a little bit banked and sharp, of course. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, we popped that shoulder. Oh, boy. Sorry, piggies. All right, we made it. Maybe we shouldn't take that route in the future. I'm not, not a fan of that last half we just went through. That was not it. I honestly thought it was a bit of a closer drive to our destination. There it is now. But yeah, I think we'll stick to the main roads in the future. Jeez. Uh, okay, well, let's pull in here and let's see if we can drop them just directly into the S house here. Creep on by, pull on through. Unload them. Yes, please. Boom. Well, that was easy. Uh, and that is... Oh, no. Come on. Why are you not... Okay. I don't know if that helped or not. But there you go. Uh, yeah, those are our first pigs going in there. So that's pretty cool. We're looping around. And... Um, well, I'm not sure what else we should buy. I suppose we could just straight up buy more beef cows and uh, get that rolling as well. Or we could just 
get another load of pigs, uh, which I think we might do. You know, twenty thousand dollars worth of pigs, straight up bought. Um, but we'll see how much that ultimately translates into uh, as far as meat sales. You know, um, so I think twenty grand—that's a good amount to invest in. That's a hundred pigs um, going in there, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I we'll see how that profit evens out because at this point it pretty much is just those two i mean maybe a little bit of diesel but negligible because you know we do so many oh trips um of different sorts with the truck it's like hard to say that you know a short five ten minute little saunter up and down the hill here um so you know i don't know maybe add another hundred bucks on for diesel altogether so twenty thousand and a hundred um, and then whatever we sell for pork, that is, uh, what we get for profit. So as long as we clear 20000 and a and $100, then we should be in the green. But, uh, we will see how it goes. I think I'm going to approach the other way. That way, I'm not tempted to take the long road. All right. Ah, uh, where are you at? We'll take you again. 10 G's, yes sir. All right, and we're full once again. Looking good, and I suppose we could. Uh, I know that big, the black Mac over there is uh, one of the new additions to the slaughterhouse, and the or not the slaughterhouse, but the auction um, here. And uh, you know, they've upgraded their equipment as well. So in the future, if we wanted to, we could always just get some deliveries from them as well. You know, again, that kind of eats into the profit we were just talking about there. But at the end of the day, you know, if we're really busy, it's just a couple extra hundred bucks maybe on top of it. And I think we still come out ahead there, uh, especially if we can just, you know, we got some extra holding pens over here for more animals um, if we have too many at once. So we could just get a lot of them brought in. And then from there, you know, just let the business do its thing. If the butcher needs more help, he's more than happy or, uh, you know, capable and allowed to hire more people. So whatever gets the job done, my friends. This guy's probably so annoyed right now. Uh, at least we're leaving him. He's like, oh my gosh, this truck is just on me. And I'm full of bacon, baby. You best get out to me. Oh, as it gets more... Uh, dark outside and uh, you know the the red lights are that much more ominous in here all right uh, another 50 let's unload them looking good and um, well, let's pull up here real quick squeeze out oh come on one more time there we go and now we pop her back up okay good Oh yeah, we can go down the hill. We got nothing in here, so we should be fine. And of course, going down is the easy part. It's going up that uh, you need a little bit more juice, although I think this truck would be more than capable. It is. It's a big unit. And uh, hey, love seeing those lights from the feed store over there. I feel like we never used to be able to. And again, we never were really down in this side of the field at nighttime because we didn't really have a reason to be. So, looking pretty good though. And I'd say we accomplished a fair bit today for sure. Uh, everything is looking just dandy. Uh, I suppose we should go see how they're doing rolling out the uh, meadow over there. But really, they should be done with that pretty soon here. The dog is ready for dinner. You can see him waiting there. So... We don't want to hold them up too much longer. I think that's a great spot for that. And uh, let's just go poke our heads out over here while we're already in the truck. We may as well. All right, looks like he's still going. Uh, not much left. That's not too bad. I'd say, what, four more passes maybe? So... That is, uh, that's doable. He'll be able to finish that up in no time. I'm not too worried about it. If he was going to be out here for another hour, I would uh, I'd tell him to just go home. But 
he can finish that up and it is much appreciated and I think we've done everything we need to we bought some more land today we've made a better field out of it and uh, whoa we just sent it we bought a bunch of pork which I'm really looking forward to that getting sold uh, this is not really the spot for this truck so I'm not gonna park it there I'm gonna bring it over to its home over here beside the black trailer that's where it goes sometimes not all the time but sometimes that'll do right there wonderful and let's go feed that dog shall we all right here you go pups whoa chainsaw now what we want Surprise change shot, it happens. Probably once an episode at the minimum. All right, but that's going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one. All right, all right, all right. Take it easy. Bye-bye.